Hey, what's up Transponum? This is Ben here in China and today we're going to take a look at the X Transports MX15 86 Rosicross Warrior Deathwish. And this is the X Transports masterpiece interpretation of Dead End. And here's the box from the front, from the side, and look at the bio. What's the point? <laughs> the other side, the bottom, top, and the back. So let's crack this guy open. Here's the instruction manual and the collector card. And whoa, Dead End himself. Oof, I'm, I'm always impressed of, about how heavy this is. Ooh, got something here. I don't know what this is, but okay. And a very simple gun with a C hook at the bottom there. It's, it's kind of weird. I think this is for the album. Okay. Okay. What? What? The spoilers articulate? Goes up and down? Hmm. Where's the side mirror? Ah. These must be the side mirrors. Okay. Yeah. It's like under the floodlights, it has this pearlescent glow but not like well what do I know yeah it's a bit of a matte pearl glow very weird indeed it has a lot of heft on the rear section really does look like a sports car Oof, I am excited to get this guy open all right so let's get this guy reviewed And here is Death Wish in the out mode, out from the box. And I've installed the side mirrors. And that's about all the accessories we can have of Death Wish in the out mode without him looking too silly. You can install this pistol at the rear section like this. Boom. Pew, 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 pew. And it's a bit silly. Dead end is supposed to be a Porsche 928. There's a bit of articulation on the spoilers. It is in the vid it Oh, sorry. Maybe it's not an articulation. Okay, so maybe it's not meant to articulate, but I think you could just have a little bit of playability in terms of what spoilers can do. Sadly, I don't think there's any articulation in the alt mode. It rolls great. There's also a switch here. Turn it on. So here's Death Wish from the front, from the side, from the other side, from the back, the bottom, and the top. And that's about it. So let's do some comps. Here is Dead End with Breakdown, Mirage, Quill Jack, Smoke Screen, Hot Rod, and Onion Hide. Initiating Viscan technology. Using my Viscan tech, here are the painted ad bits everywhere except for the headlights where lights shine. But let's go deeper. Here, 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 and here. Employing Cold Sense technology. Using my Cold Sense tech, here are the die cast bits. I don't feel anything. It feels heavier. At the rear, but I don't. I don't feel anything in the alt mode. Compiling tune screen technology. Using my tune screen tech, here are the cartoon accurate bits: black windscreen, shape of the door, details. Here, here, and here, and that's about it. Because this is supposed to look like a real world car. And here is Dead End in the bot mode and let's take a look at his pistol gun, whatever you call it. It has pretty nice details all over, painted in this almost semi-glossy gunmetal grey kind of finishing. And to plug it in, you just gotta place the pegs into this slot there. And Dead End holds his gun pretty well. To turn on these LED lights, there is a switch at the bottom here. But to install the batteries, you need to twist the front section of the car 90 degrees and unscrew this. And you gotta put in, according to the instruction manual that I just looked at, you need to buy LR52-1 batteries. I've only got LR44, so sorry. Then it looks really good from the front especially with the nice white contrast on its chest area. I love the transformation in the calf section and the feet don't look like an afterthought. Even though the heel spurs are a little short, 
that end still stands pretty nice quite a nice way x transports colored the back section here under the hood but these little parts here look a little unfinished which caused me to kind of twist this part here and i twisted it off and that's a bummer super glued it back but i don't think it would fully transform back into the alt mode ever again anyway here is dead end from the front from the side from the other side the back the bottom and the top let's do some comps here's dead end with breakdown wall rider drag strip reflector sunstorm and megatron and here are the four x transports stunticons or berserkers side by side and oh, i am pretty happy about how these bots look and i'm particularly happy that they scale well with the official mp masterpiece cars now there's a bit of a debate about how the stunticons should scale but realistically there is no official available reference scale given available to the public at least given by takara to the animation studios when they drew this into the sanbo cartoon but here are some evidence that perhaps the stunticon should scale with the autobot cars because originally menasaur was thought to be one of the autobots and it will be quite weird if they the car was bigger than the autobot cars and the bots were bigger than the autobot cars because really were there any car bots that were larger than the season one season two autobot cars i don't know right and here is the reference scale uh, it's still a bit unofficial it's not really from takara itself or hasbro but this was done by jim Sorensen. and as you can see no autobot stunticons or the stunticons themselves in this picture and because we know how bad the animation studios were in drawing the cartoons back in the days for the stunticons scale will be in the eyes of you the beholder and this is how i view my stunt because this is season one and season two that's just the way I view them no one's right no one's wrong it's just a matter of preference let's go through the articulation checklist Initiating Viscan technology. Using my Viscan tech, here are the painted app bits. Here, 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 and here. Employing cold sense technology. Using my cold sense tech, here are the die cast bits. Here and here. Compiling tune screen technology. Using my Viscan tech, here are the cartoon accurate bits. Here, 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 and here. And for the non cartoon accurate bits, color here, 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 and here. <laughs> Thank you. 
so what are my thoughts on this figure let's talk about three things i like about this toy first thing i love how the head can really look up so i can twist and bend his body and make him look up still and he can do a very good flying pose because of how the head can look up second thing i like about this toy the little cool gimmick on the led lights on the front section of the vehicle how i wish wild rider and breakdown have those things as well third thing i like about this toy is how nice and tight everything is built it has a lot of joints that squeaks when i first move them or twist them and that reminds me a lot about fans toys this is indeed i think on par with any fans toys toys or not any but some of the better built figures what about the one thing i would like this toy to be more articulation it does still complement the old mp cars just the way it looks and feels minus the die cast but some playability in the alt mode would have been great but i understand why they did not go down that route because these were designed way in advance before mp sunstreaker was revealed but now that they are redoing the motor master i really do hope that x transports can put up a toy that really challenges takara tomi in terms of articulation and if it's built as well as this guy wow i will be absolutely impressed so would i recommend this toy well it just all depends on whether you're in x transbots stunticons i sure am i'm even thinking about buying another set because i've already got two breakdowns because i broke first one and sent the toy back to the x transbots factory i mean ah should i go on a tangent i don't know i'll keep that discussion for another day but those are my thoughts what are your thoughts please leave them in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video please hit the like and share button and also hit the sub and bell icon for more future videos again this is ben here in china signing off and i'll see you on the flip side i think i just figured this twisting bit part here hey that's pretty cool it looks more finished now